Welcome back to Bilderberg News. I'm your host, Chris, and today's we are talking about do we owe Gunner a apology? Whether we owe Gunner an apology or not really depends on how you interpret the situation. When news broke that he had taken a plea deal in 2022, it felt like the whole world turned against him. Fans, critics, and even his peers in the rap game were quick to brand him a snitch and question his loyalty to YSL and Young Thug. It was a major shock to the system, especially for fans who saw Gunner as a cornerstone of the movement. The streets and social media were ruthless. People felt betrayed, calling him out as if he had sold out his friends. But if you look closer, things aren't as black and white as they first seemed. Gunna pled guilty to racketeering conspiracy, but he never directly implicated anyone or admitted to committing any crimes. All he did was take a deal to avoid years in prison. In a situation like that, you have to ask, was he just playing the hand he was dealt to protect his future, his family, and his career? Or was it an act of self-preservation that compromised his integrity? It's easy to point fingers when you're not the one facing years behind bars. Now, after some time has passed, there's room to reconsider. Gunna didn't betray anyone directly. He made a calculated legal move. Some may argue that his decision was a smart play to avoid a lengthy sentence and get back to doing what he loves, while others feel he should have taken the real one route and stuck by his crew no matter the cost. But in reality, not everyone has the same level of loyalty or commitment, especially when your freedom is on the line. If you are one of the people who are quick to judge him without knowing all the facts, maybe it's time to reconsider. This situation was complicated, and Gunna's decision was shaped by a bunch of factors most of us will never understand. Sometimes the judgment we pass is based on emotion rather than facts. Maybe it was too soon to call him out when the full picture hadn't even emerged yet. At the end of the day, it's about perspective. Gunna didn't snitch, but he didn't necessarily play the role everyone expected either. So, whether we owe him an apology depends on how much we value loyalty how we see survival in a system that isn't designed to be fair, and how much we understand the legal game, but one thing's for sure, his story isn't over and maybe that initial judgment was a little too hasty. Well that's all for today, I'm your host Chris and thanks for watching Bilderberg News and make sure you like, comment, and hit that notification button to stay up on all the latest content.